Now, Absa Bank Kenya pre-tax profit jumped 75.7% in 2021 to 15.5 billion shillings as the banking sector emerged from the fangs of COVID-19. The bank, which is a unit of South Africa's Absa Bank, reported that interest income grew by 8% to 32 billion shillings as a result of lending to small and medium enterprises. Total income from all business units rose by 7% to 37 billion shillings. Absa Bank joins other commercial banks like Standard Chartered, among others, that are posting huge profit growth for 2021 as the sector is fast emerging from the impacts of the COVID-19 pandemic-induced lull. Absa Bank CEO Jeremy Awori says lending to the manufacturing sector recorded a 33% year-on-year growth supported by the government medium-term inflation target of 6%. And I think what's encouraging is we're seeing it being fairly broad-based growth in double digits uh, across the different segments. Um, and with manufacturing goods posting a 33% growth um, you know, on a year-on-year -year, year -year basis. We're making strong progress um, you know, on these agendas and this is a core part uh, of, of, of our strategy and will be reported on our sustainability commitment reports in the future. The bank's assets growth registered a 48% jump from the 45% registered in 2020. Lending to retail and wholesale recorded a growth of 7% that was attributed to the fact that the default rate had significantly come down as a result of proper risk assessments. If I, I go to the slide on risk, an important slide as well, and this is really testament to what we have seen in 2021. We took quite a huge provision. When we did all those payment holidays, 62 billion, 30% of our lending book, it meant we could see a strain. And if you look at IFRS uh, 9, it speaks to, you know, in the first instance, where you actually get in default. And if you look at that one, the, on the side of improvement in portfolio quality, it means a, a, a significant portion of our customers are able to meet their regular monthly repayment. Absa Bank's total assets jumped by 13% to 429 billion driven by general lending, mortgages and business loans. The bank's shareholders will get a dividend of 1.1 shilling per share which will bring the total dividend payout to 6 billion. Dutamokami for Prime Edition.